Hello friends, uh, this is Kelly from Root Pursuit. Today we are working on these cute little mini doily envelopes. Uh, so they have a little pocket and you can put a little uh, treasure inside. Maybe these will fit in there. These are a little, whoop. There we go. Well, even if they don't, we're gonna make them fit because they're going in there because they're too cute. So, yeah, today we're making these little doilies. Uh, they are pretty cute and pretty easy. There's one little trick to them, but otherwise they're they're super simple. So, and now we have these little cards that are gonna go inside. All right, so we'll show you how it's done. Okay, so we have these little mini doilies and we simply fold them to the center. And these actually kind of have a front and a back. So we're just gonna go with it. And you wanna make those pretty straight. And then the envelope will be straight. And then we fold this up and then we fold it down. So there's two tricks to doing these to make them nice, because as you can see at this point, we've got these extra flaps here and this would just open up. So we're gonna basically cut off this little tiny corner bit. So it's just that little piece that goes right here. And there we go, get those out of the way. Make sure our creases are good. And then we can take our glue, which I just realized I haven't used it in a while. Probably gonna have to poke a hole in here, get it to be cooperative again, but uh, as you can see, and I'm going to just show you how I do this, I open it up and I put the glue on the widest parts. So try not to get the holes. Sometimes it happens a little bit, but that's okay. We'll work around it. So just kind of get it in all the places, but try not to go through. So now we kind of squeeze it together and we have a little bit of time. I'm just going to take this card here, pop it in there, make sure we don't glue our envelope shut, but still making sure to get those pieces and also not gluing the bookmark inside. So you just kind of want to keep that movement going so that we glue the place that was that is supposed to be glued so all right we're gonna do some a little pink on the envelope as you can see from the example we did a little pink around the edges just to make it pop a little bit more you can see before and after Just a little on the edges. And then I'm going to actually put this on my board and do those edges. And then you can do the top edge as well. And that is all I would do. Except for a little jewel in the middle. There we go. Two done. I'm going to do four of these so you can be complete experts on how to do these. Again, come to the center pretty equally. Oop, fold it up. Fold it down. This one got a little... rip in it. 
You don't want that. We're just going to use a different one today. Normally I wouldn't care, but I'm going to use this in a, for my own stuff, I wouldn't care, but this is going to be in an ephemera pack that I am selling in my Etsy shop. So, and I've got a few more things here on my table that are going to be a part of that pack. So I am excited to show you guys what all of those things are as well. Ooh, that's, we're, we're too soon, too soon for that. Oh good, now it's sticking to my finger. I don't know what kind of an accent that was. Well, it was St. Patrick's Day yesterday. I don't know when this video is going to post, but some Irish is seeping through. <laughs> I am a little Irish. Well, quite a bit Irish, but my Irish ancestors have probably been here for 400 years in the U.S., so it's not a whole lot of the, the culture still left there, but mostly English, Irish, and German, a little bit of French. Okay, there's that one, and one more. Whew. Just crafting today. It's a beautiful day to craft. Although the, the snow, I can't talk today. The snow did melt off the ground, being, you know, time. It's time is spring here in Wisconsin. So we're ready for some nice summer days. Planned a garden. Ready to do that. My husband is the gardener. I just kind of follow along. I'm always trying to like design my garden and make it, you know, really magical, but I'm not, I'm not quite mastered it yet. So a little work in progress there for me and my, my, my garden. But he can grow plants, so that's good. I'm not, I'm not all that good about that good at it. I was kind of grew up in the city, so. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we've got four of those. I'm going to have four of these in my Etsy shop, and they are going to include some fun things. So I've got these four glassine bags, so they're have a nice sound to them. So those will be included, so that's fun. Uh, four of these original Milton Bradley bingo cards, so those are fun. Just gonna trim off these side schnibbles. These must have been punch outs. I think those are really good looking bingo cards with the blue. So I'm just gonna trim this edge. How many do I have there? Four. Good. Because <laughs> I'm going for four. <laughs> four is what I need. Basically, there'll be four of these items in my shop for you to buy. So if you want one, you better, you better jump. And I'm going to have it at a really reasonable price. So you have to check that out. And I always like to do free shipping. That's just easier. So we've got the four bingo cards, four glassine, the four little uh, doily envelopes with uh, this card inside. 
let's see here. I'm going to do four of these bookmarks. Why do I only have three all of a sudden? There were four here, I swear. <laughs> Who knows? It's around here somewhere. <laughs> Good grief. All right, so I'm going to add these. I have these, this wonderful, I don't know what it is. It's like yarn or something. And uh, it's just lovely. I think I'll just tie that. Just do one tie. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. It's so pretty. And there, it's it's kind of multicolored and it has a variety of different uh, shades as it progresses. So they'll all be a little different because we love original. It's kind of snagging on this a little bit. And this is um, like canvas so it's got a nice texture to it um, burlap with painted stencil over the top of it okay there's number two and number three and number four is missing in action, although I'm sure it's on here somewhere. And if not, I can get another one. I know that I have more of these anyway. So, and then this is for the fourth one. Oh, I see it. It's way over here. Oh my goodness. Pardon my stretch. Okay, here we go. Okay, four of those. Oh, we've got four uh, movie star, uh, what do you call these? Like flashcards, they were like for a trivia game. But anyway, each one has a lovely leading lady on it. So that goes in there. These four envelopes, these are like uh, the envelopes that the paper outpost did, hand from the paper outpost. And I just added a little doodad up there. So it's, a, it's, it's got two places for pockets, one back here and kind of, gosh, it's got, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five places for pockets actually. So these are pretty cute, little handmade envelopes. So those go in there. What else do we have? Good stuff here. We've got this uh, embroidered denim. I would maybe call it like a chambray and it's on an index card. So there's a few of those, four of those. Uh, we've got these boho spine dangles with the wire wrapped and some beads. So you'll get one of those. Uh, four of these lovely spine cluster charms deals. So you'll, you'll get one of those. And yeah, two more things. So there's also one of these. So these are just the little, my little three layer clusters. So you get one of those. These are awesome because they look good on everything. Doesn't matter what you put them on. They look fantastic. Put them here. They just look great on anything. You name it. They look good. Love them. Anyway, so you got one of those. Uh, disrupted my stack of stuff. And then for the final is one of these, It's a, that's canvas fabric uh, stamped on there, baker's twine, and then a little uh, bulb pin. So everything that dangles will have a bulb pin attached to it. So for my final thing, yeah, these are really cute. Actually, I, I had a whole stack of these hearts and I put, I put this right on top of my supplies. That was so silly. And uh, it turns out they're really fun to decorate. 
So, and we're just going to add this baker's twine to it. It's got the little eyelet in there. Doo -doo -doo. We're just going to do four of these. Get that out of the way. And there's not much to it. I just kind of tie it around. So there we go. So if you're looking for some extra little items to add to your junk journal or your scrapbook or art journal or whatever it is you're doing at this point, then these, and there's something that you think you would like, hop on over there. Just like that. There we go. Another one. I bet you I can do something with those little doily bits. I bet you I can. Something. And I usually, it's a good idea, I, I don't know, I've always been a tie it three times kind of a person, so that's just my thing. Seems like that is the, the right amount to make sure it stays where it's supposed to stay. I'm gonna get all these tightened, trim my excess, attach the bulb pin, Anyway, I thought this was kind of a nice, nice variety of, I'm going to pull that down. So looks best if it's either down or up for the knot. So put that over there. And I've got one more. Yeah, so, you know, and of course I'll have the link in the description, but I figure I better start maybe selling some of this stuff. Otherwise... I'm not going to be able to, to um, you know, move in my craft room. It's so overflowing in here. So you guys got to help me out and and buy these so I can I can get rid of stuff, and then I can buy more stuff. <laughs> oh, the plight of the crafter. Hard, hard times. First world problems. Okay. There we go. All right. There it is. That's these are all the lovelies that are included in that pack. So if you're interested, you know what to do. Head over, uh, click the link in the description. That would be great. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And you know, thanks for coming along. Talk to you later.